Uh, SJ Last Beer C says WCW 98-99. Boring Bischoff and Hogan crap ran off the fans to WWF before Russo even left WWF. The WCW audience never came back after early 99. Can't blame Russo. He was just an easy scapegoat. I'll you After watching part four of that, it just, this is how I, I sum it up. Okay, number one, because nobody, okay, I booked myself to beat Bill Goldberg. It was my idea to do the finger poke of doom to get the belt back on Hogan. I kicked Brett in the head. I ended up selling the company because nobody wants to take any blame for anything. So I'll take blame for everything when it comes down to fucking actually, man, it looks like Truman Capote in the heat of the night, baby. He just Truman. Oh, uh, Cap- Brad. Yeah. It looks like Siegel was pretty instrumental and he might not have known what was going on, but he knew who to get a hold of in Titan tower. Looks like there was a little low. <laughs> For our comments, I'll just okay. hold my and then, pen. And then the thing is, too, is that oh. if you watch the whole doc, the whole thing, I watched the whole thing. It starts off, and it, the, the, the fact that if you just take all this shit out and just go from fact to fact, one is Turner has been convinced by the other tower, at that, that point, his tower. It's been his, his executive have, have convinced him that if this thing doesn't show profit, it's got to be, got to be, it's gone. So Eric puts his hand, his name in the hat. He's chosen. He takes over much to the chagrin of the people that want to kill WCW. It starts to do numbers. So it does 200 million is one of the numbers they threw out during this thing. So now they're all got to sit there and just fucking just like, oh, fuck. And then as soon as it yeah, started. You're talking about the executives that didn't want wrestling on TV. They didn't, okay. and so the minute it started to take a dot, then you go to Eric's meeting, which I he told me, I, I was like, when he came out of that meeting, I was I saw him in his office. And that's when he said, he was just like, you're not going to believe this. He said, they're cutting our budget, and they're going to put a standard and practice guy in, in the booking room. And I was just like, fuck. And so I said, do you, want, do you want me to help? So that's when I got, and he just gave me a rundown on what was going on and what went on. You know, and, and he said, I mean, to me, I don't know. I didn't know half the fucking people, if anybody, in that meeting. He thinks things are great. He comes back, and they're, they've cut his budget in half. It's like they were going to kill this thing one way or another. And if you, man, if 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 you look at the, like the third episode, you can't tell who Siegel's playing. He's bringing back Eric. He's got Russo. He's got this guy. This, it's like musical chairs on who's in charge. Everything you could do to disrupt a company, they do. And then, 